everyone, it's Anna for Pretty Actions here, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you some of the most commonly used blending modes in Photoshop and how they can affect your image. So blending modes are used when you're editing with layers in order to affect how each layer behaves and interacts with other layers in your editing process and how it changes the overall look of your image. So for this tutorial, I'm using a haze from the Sunflare collection as an example. So first, I'm going to drag and drop the overlay onto my image and leave the blending mode set to normal. Normal is, as it sounds, the most basic blending mode and doesn't really affect the tonal value so much, but it just affects how visible the top layer is. And in this case, my top layer is my haze overlay. Now let's look at the overlay blending mode. Overlay is a really handy blending mode when you have an image that you want to brighten and add contrast to. So my original image here has very low contrast. So by applying my haze in the overlay mode and reducing the opacity, I get a really nice bright image with good rich contrast. So if you find that overlay is too intense, you can try soft light. Now this blending mode will still brighten your image, but the contrast won't be as intense as it is in the overlay blending mode. So I'll show you an example of both modes at 100% opacity. So here is overlay at 100%. And here we have soft light at 100%. And as you can see, they both brighten the image, but soft light has less contrast than overlay. Another commonly used blending mode for brightening an image is screen mode. Here you're going to see an overall lightening of the image, and this really intensifies and brightens the exposure without increasing the contrast. And it's what's going to help give your images that really nice, hazy quality that so many people enjoy so much. Now, if for some reason you find that you want to darken your image or decrease the exposure, you can accomplish this with blending modes as well. So, for example, when I select darken as my blending mode, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's going to darken the overall exposure, but you'll notice with this mode, the clipping is recovered in my highlights, and there's more an effect of an effect in my highlights than any other region of my photo in terms of tonal value. With the darken blending mode, you'll see a change in all of the values, or I'm sorry, in the multiply mode, you'll see a change in all of the values, um, the highlights, midtones, and shadows, and an overall decrease in exposure. So just to clarify, the multiply layer is going to affect the overall exposure of your image. So just to recap, the six blending modes that we just took a look at are normal, which is the um, layer on top blending at basically a 1-1 ratio with the layer beneath it. Overlay, which gives you that nice brightening effect with a boost in contrast. Soft light, and this mode is similar to overlay in that it brightens your image, but it has less contrast than overlay. Screen is the mode that helps, uh, helps you create that nice haze in your image and really lightens the shadows and midtones. Darken, this is one that it does exactly what it says. It darkens the layer while also targeting clipping, clipping in the highlights, excuse me, and multiply finally, which gives you an overall decrease to the exposure in your image.